Now we're going to work single thread, closed fly stitch on the Glam's crown, thistle and rose design. I'm using a single thread because these delicate little leaves look beautiful when they change colour. So I'm going to cast on and secure my thread by leaving a knot in the top and using three little stitches. Now I've just set up this frame and I've used my usual cling film method but actually this isn't quite tight enough and it is flopping so I'm just going to straighten the linen out. Make sure your linen runs in straight lines and keep it firm and flat and then you won't have a problem with tension or with gathering. So for the closed fly stitch you come up beyond the tip of a leaf and these almond shaped leaves are ideal for this come up beyond the tip and go down at the top of the vein. So you're making one straight stitch as the foundation stitch and then move that stitch slightly out of the way and come up at the top of the line of the actual marked leaf. Leave a loop hanging down and go down at the opposite line. Now I use my second finger to hold that loop out of the way and then come up through the base of your first stitch and bring your needle down, dragging it towards you slightly and just tension that stitch. So you've made a V shape with that second stitch. Now hold that down with a couch going down, so just one single stitch going down through the vein of the stitch. Now I like to come up behind each stitch as you work down this leaf and that covers the edge beautifully. So just come up, it doesn't matter which side you come up on, one side, go down on the other and come up at the base of that couch stitch and make another one. These couch stitches look like vertebra down the middle, they should show. So make them about an eighth of an inch long. Keep the steep angle by coming up deep into the shape, so come up high into the shape on one side and then on the other. So as you can see these stitches aren't left-handed or right-handed but they're worked from the top down, they're worked vertically. And I always find by bringing my hand towards me or using the weight of my hand as you stitch down actually it keeps a very even tension. If you stitch from this angle and work across as if you're writing then that actually is a different tension and it's very difficult to keep the same weight in your hand. As you get to the base of the leaf you'll find that the V uses up the shape. If it's an unusually shaped leaf you might have to just go up and down in the same hole at the end. So use the same action but instead of progressing down the shape just pop your needle down in the same hole and this makes for a really lovely neat finish down here. And then you can use the same colour, just move across to the next one, come up just beyond the shape, go down at the top of the line and then continue as before. I would turn my frame slightly so that I'm working up and down rather than across. When you run out of thread just cast off in the same shape as before and snip the end off of that thread. Every time I use a thread I snip the ends off as I go and then choose a contrast colour. I'm going to use this beautiful dark yellowy brown and you can contrast that and work the next colour in the same way. So I just cast on in a neighbouring leaf to keep the tail out of the way and you can just walk up to the area you want to use. So I can just put a couple of seeding stitches in there, one in the leaf I'm going to work and then just continue and I love these contrasts, shifting shades from one to the next. Just look at nature, copy nature when you're choosing colours, nature never goes wrong with the colours never clashes. So you come up one side, go down the other, up through the base, 
and when you reach the base if you still got blue showing then you could continue with an extra stitch here and pop that down. The lady who originally stitched this piece was Cecilia, Countess of Strathmore. She was the Queen's grandmother and she was very clever and she added little dashes of colour so you can actually pop in an extra colour. If you think a leaf looks rather boring just put a few strokes of the contrast colour so no thread is ever wasted. I'm just going to hop across here as well because this leaf actually bows out slightly and when that happens you need to add an extra satin stitch on one side. Just an extra stitch along the outside all the way to the middle means that that shape is accommodated. This is close fly stitch using a double thread, one of my very favourite stitches. First of all, don't cast on but leave the loop because we're going to use that as the first stitch. So take your needle beyond the tip of the leaf, take it down so that the needle goes all the way through and you leave the loop on the top of the work. Bring your needle up at the top of the central vein of the leaf and then pass the needle through that loop and pull the loop south so that the, you end up with a firm stitch going from the vein to the just beyond the tip of the leaf. Now, couch that down with a stitch. Now in double thread, that's about between an eighth and a quarter of an inch. It's quite a big stitch. Next, take your finger and move the thread slightly out of the way so that you come up at the tip of the marked leaf. Go Using your needle, push that first stitch out of the way and go down on the opposite side. So you're very close to the tip of the leaf here. And take your needle up through the end of that couched stitch. Bring your needle up and pull that loop so it makes a long Y shape. And repeat that all the way down the leaf. Make sure that the distance between the, the stitch you're doing and the one previous to it is the same as the distance of the couch down in the middle of the leaf so you keep that steep angle. Now of course as you run out of thread you could change colour and I'm going to do that next. I'm just casting off as usual snipping off the tail and then I'm going to go to the next shade of yellow or I could go into this fantastic greeny yellow or you could go into a different shade altogether but subtly changing colours is the way to go in the arts and crafts movement. Whenever I thread up, bounce the wool to straighten the threads and then thread the needle down and you'll find the threads will just hang happily. The loops at the far end again. This time I'm going to cast on just in an area which we'll cover later with stitches. Come up through the loop, take your needle down through the hole made by the last stitch. Now this shape actually bows out slightly so I'm going to add in an occasional straight stitch like that. So that stitch just allows the shape to form without losing any coverage around the edge. So I go back and I make another V shape, up through the edge, down on the opposite side, up through the centre line at the end of a vertebra and couch. So again, up, down, hold the loop south, bring your needle through and couch down. If you find any blue showing through the edge, you can just pop an extra stitch in. Or if you just want to add a bit of extra colour, you can put another stitch in wherever you like. Just keep the same angle as your first layer of stitching. As this leaf curves, it curves with an outer edge 
that's slightly fatter on one side on the top of the leaf and then it changes down here so I'll add an extra stitch or two down at the bottom to allow for this curve.